yeah so here we go then here we go tightest ball out first hole at wind yard like I say I haven't had any practice swings at route like that so bear with us but this is the second part tonight wish us the best of luck and good luck to everyone else hopefully using in the low 80s tonight I'll have a good chance Right, here we go. Come on. Still not convinced that's high enough. Let's have a look now. A tad bit more. Right, that's better. Yeah, that's not a great first swing, golf friends. I've, <laughs> I've got to be honest, that is not a good first swing at all. In fact, that's awful. I've drew it round. And um, it'll not have gone very far. This is now a three shot par three, for, uh, par five for definite. But I've just started. I've just started. <clears throat> that's, not, uh, that's not setting the tone for the round yet. For, the, for this nine, it's a bit of a drawer, but I know where it is, I'll find it, it's okay. Uh, so yeah, anyway, new island green top on tonight, I don't know what you think of it. I don't actually know what I think of it. It looks a bit, um, I, I, I don't know, it's black and grey with blue stripes down. When I saw it on the picture I thought, oh it's not too bad, now that I'm wearing it, I'm not, uh, oh, I'm going to miss my t-shirt there. I'm not so convinced now. I'm not so convinced, but I don't know. I don't know. Comment below what you think about it. Comment below what you think. Um, so, yeah, like I say, not a great t-shirt. Off to the right, drew it round. Monkey, to be honest. At best, it's going to be 180, 200 yards. Monkey. I had a feeling because I was very, very stiff. I haven't had a pra I didn't really have any practice swings or anything. Like I say, uh, I should have followed my advice off my own videos and took a few practice swings, but I've literally rushed out again tonight to play a few holes. And the main thing is now, let's just find this ball and um, let's just get it, get it back into the fairway. Here it is. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought, it's not as bad as I thought, but again, it's gone nowhere. It's literally just gone past the junior tees. Um, so yeah, we've still got a long, long way to go. Long, long way to go. 300 yards. Right. I think I'm just going to have to accept, I'm going to have to take a 7 iron in between that gap, because it's quite a tight gap, and just accept it's going to be three shots to get onto the green. That's all I can do, I think. But make sure it's nice and straight, John. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Straight down the middle. Fine. Don't worry about it. I mean if you hit a good drive on this hole, in this this first hole on this par five, you always feel you've got a chance for two. You've always feel that, like even even from the white, you're about 230 yards away, and you feel like if you can hit a really good for me, if I can hit a really good 20 degree hybrid, maybe I should lower it down to 20 degrees because we're on 21 degrees at the minute. But I feel like I can get to the green, but in that instance, 300 yards away, no, not a chance. 
good 50 yards knocked off by drive there because it wasn't a, a good one. But I'm down there now. And I tell you what, these two balls are still on the green. Taking the time. Well, that's fine, I'll just take my time, that's fine. I'll just uh, do a slow walk. There's, there's no need for me to rush, no need for me to rush. No need for me to rush them. Just let them take the time and do what they've got to do. Um, putting the flag in now, so off the go. And I think with me as well, I, I still keep the flag in when I'm putting for you to see where the, to give you the perception where the hole is and everything. And I think that quickens the game up a little bit. I've noticed that after COVID, rounds weren't taking as long with two, three, four balls because people were putting them, um, were taking, taking the, uh, keeping the flags in. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing my ball. I thought I hit it pretty safe, to be honest. Um, maybe it was just me. Where is my ball? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm starting to be a little bit confused already as to where my ball's at. Oh, there it is, there it is. Christ almighty, my eyesight's getting worse. I'm only seeing it when it's about 50 yards ahead of me now. It's getting worse. Right bang in the centre, like I thought. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, rounds weren't taking as long in COVID because people were keeping the flags in. And so once you start taking the flags in and out and start moving it about and stuff, we're going back to the four and a half rounds again. So maybe that's something we should stick to, I don't know. In the amateur game, quicken the pace up a little bit. Okay. Get the range finder out. Yes. I reckon it's 104. Hundred put nine to the front. Okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Um, it's a fifty-six then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a full fifty-six. Okay. good if it's the right club oh it stopped it stopped dead I think it's on the front screen I said I'm seeing little spots all over the place at the minute floaters and everything so my eyesight now is, is, is shocking uh, I really couldn't tell you where that's at on the green when the floaters go I'm all right but it, yeah We'll see what we get up there though. I think it's plugged dead. I think it just went. Sh I, I th oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think it's on the right side of the green as I expected, and I think it's just above the front. Well, I might be seeing things. I might just be a, a floater. We'll, we'll soon know when I get up there, don't worry. We'll soon know when we get up there. But I think I'm putting. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the front of the green. I'm putting. I'm two putting for par. Which is a good start. It's a good start considering the drive was a bit manky. But no, that's a good start. That's a good start. There's no one behind me. I don't think. I don't think there's anyone behind me. So there's no rush tonight, golf friends. I'll just take my time. I will let that two ball just do their own thing. I won't rush them. I'll just take my time. Nice easy walk tonight, I think. Uh, and like I say, I'll do this in two in two parts again for you. This is only the first hole. Another eight to go after this, but it's a good start. It's a good start so far. So I'm putting for birdie on the first. And you know what? You haven't seen a damn thing. You have not seen a damn thing because I've got it on the wrong way. I don't believe it, I've done it again. I do not believe I've done it again. I'm really sorry about that, girlfriends. Uh, hold on. Open this up. Oh, damn it. Right, I'm going to have to stop the recording and uh, redo it.
Yeah, well, it's exactly the same as last night. I've done exactly the same as last night. This time, you've missed three shots. I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry, but that's a position I'm in for four. And I'm now putting for birdie. I don't believe I've done that again with that camera. That's twice I've done it in two nights. I do not believe I've done that, but never mind. You'll have a rough idea where I was on the course because uh, you, you, you probably know it off by heart now, like you do, like Matt, like I do. Okay, here we go. Bit of left to right. Oh. Well, it's not too bad. It's a good start. It's a five. It's a five. That moves me on to 46. We go on to the second. We go on to the second. That's fine. It's a par. It's a par. Yeah, because you didn't see it, I better explain it properly what happened to, you, to, to my shots because all you were hearing is, is my voice basically. Um, See, again, it's not on the proper lock. Right, open. Get on properly phone. That's it. That's it. There we go. Uh, still recording? Yeah. I better, I better explain to you what happened. Uh, off the tee. I, I mean, I had it facing the right way off the tee box, so I just, I just wonder what happened. It was facing the right way off the tee box, wasn't it? Maybe you've just missed one shot or two shots, I don't know, but I don't know what's happened there, because I thought it was facing the right way, but never mind. But anyway, my drive was a bit manky. I drew it, and I hit it around, I would say, 210 yards-ish. Drew it round, and left myself 300 yards. I then hit a controlled 7-iron from the right side of the, of the, the first cut, um, I hit it straight down the middle, past that bunker on the left, if you remember the bunker on the left, I hit that, hit it straight over there, bang in the middle of the fairway, left myself 100 yards pitch, the flag was at the front of the green, and then obviously you've seen my putt from there. So that's what's happened on that first hole. That's a five, I'm now on 46. John Hutton is still plus four, and we move on to the second. Here we go. Second hole, as you remember very, very well. Yeah, it's facing the right way now. It is facing the right way now, and I'm hoping, is this mic still, still on? Yeah, it is, it's still flashing, that's good. Okay, so this is gonna be the hybrid again, obviously, because I can't I can't do it, Bryson DeChambeau and clear the trees, I can't get the height with me drive to do it. Hybrid out. 21 and well you know the deal you know the deal with this hole what I'm going to try and do just hit it down the middle of a fairway then cut it across again across the dog leg the further right you go the better it becomes but again the closer you're going to be cut off of them trees right just get me a little tea out which one was I using I was using the 33 wasn't I so keep using that one Here we go then. Make sure it's nice and straight for you. And everything's on camera. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely... Ugh. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I think that's straight down the middle. Shouldn't be a bother. Put that in there. 
away we go. Yeah, so not too bad, not too bad this start. To start off with a five isn't too bad on a par five, although it is a sure par five. And I do fancy my chances on that one, and especially the tenth and the first, I always fancy my chances to get a par on them because the short par fives. But this one, this one is the killer par four. If you get if you get a five on here, you take it any day of the week because it's from the white, it's about 450 odd yards, 458 yards or something. But you can't actually um, clear the trees or everything. You can't take your driver out. You've got to take your hybrid. So you always, no matter what happens on this hole, even if you manage to get it right to the bottom where that left bunker is and to the right side, you're still going to leave yourself about 180 yards. It's a, it, it doesn't matter. That's the best scenario. You're going to leave yourself 180 yards. And the worst scenario is you go off to the left-hand side and uh, you've left yourself 230, 240 yards to the pin. That's the worst case scenario. Very, very, very tough par four this um, for an amateur. Very, very tough. In fact, there's not many breaks at Winyard to be honest. There's not many break holes. They're all very tough to be honest. But um, some are more tougher than others, others. And this is one of the hardest ones. A very hard par four. This is why it's shot, shot index two. Right, I'm not seeing the ball. But I'm pretty sure I hit it straight. Pretty sure it went straight. Must be eyesight's deceiving me again. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's okay. I saw, I saw it about 70 yards this time. So it's improving. The eyesight's getting better. Um, I don't think this one's going to be 230, but I still think we'll have a good 200 yards to the pin. But we'll have a look. And we'll see from there. I mean, I think they're up on the green now. They walk just, just walking off the second now. A two ball. So it's okay, if I keep good pace with them, that's fine. That's not going to be the issue. The issue is, how far have I got here? That reckons 209 yards. I don't really need the rangefinder now because it's, it's, it's too far for me to matter to know my exact yardage is how far I've got to hit this. Are they still up on the green? Yeah, they're up there now. So I better just give them time. Um, yeah, I, I hope these aren't going to be slow coaches. I really hope these aren't going to be slow coaches, and they're going to keep keep me keep me hanging here. And they're going to have a four four. Well, they're only going to get nine holes in, but I hope they're not going to have a two and a half hour round. That's not what I'm wanting in this situation now. I don't want to be in the pitch, pitch black, not seeing anything. I'm trying to do a Cancer Research UK charity challenge. God, they're taking ages. How are fellas, man? It's not the bloody Ryder Cup. It's going to be like this the whole round, isn't it? Do I still want to follow through with this? Because these fellas are just take they just take the deadly serious. They they put as if they're putting for the Ryder Cup. They put they're, they're putting everything. They're putting absolutely everything. might let me play through you never know you never know but generally the members at Winyard, I'm not a big fan of them when it comes to playing through because they never do okay here we go then slightly to the left John it'll come round to the right It well, I just don't think I've gave it enough. I don't think we five just enough to get it all the way down there. From 214, I think I should have went for me 20, be 21 to be honest. I think I'm going to be short. I'm going to be a good 20 yards short. I think it's uphill. I've hit it really well, but I've just got that feeling, golf friends. I'm going to be a good 20 yards short there. 
just got that feeling. <sighs> I don't know why I did that. I don't know I don't, why. Why did I go for me, for me five hybrid when my four hybrid was there? I don't, I don't know why I did that. I should have. I should have went for the four. I should have went for the four. I mean, I might have cocked it up. I don't know, but I just, I just, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. Well, what, what, what? Why did my good instinct say go for the five instead of the four? I mean, I know my four can go 220 yards, and I know my five goes about 210, 225. I can hit it well with my 21, and that's about 210. Maybe I didn't want to be at the back of the green. I don't know. But there's something my gut told me there to pick the five out. I don't know why. I didn't even think about it. I literally just picked my five out and played the shot. So there must be something in my, my in my mind that told me to do that. Um, but we'll see. Again, I'm not seeing my ball anywhere, but we're still a good 140 yards away. Aye, 100, 114 yards away. Uh, I mean, if I get anywhere nearer this green on two, I'm happy. If we get anywhere near it for two, I'm happy. I'm not seeing the ball. I've got a funny feeling I might be in the bunker. It might because the slope, the slope of the fairways left to right. It might have just ran down into this bunker because I'm not seeing the ball. I know it went straight, so it's not a question of the ball being lost. It's a question of yeah, yeah, it's in the bunker. I thought so. I thought so. Here we are. Right, I have to put the brakes on. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Take the 60 out. Twenty two. It's at the back maybe a bit more, maybe about thirty thirty yards ish. As long as I get out and I'm putting two puts for par, uh, for five, I'm not interested. As long as I get on the green from here, that's okay. Yeah, good distance control. A little bit to the left, but good distance control. I'll take that. I'll take that. Like I say, a little bit to the left, span a bit round to the left. Left myself probably a 10 footer, but we'll take that. We'll take that, John. As long as I'm putting for par on this hole, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'll take that any day of the week because this is the tough par four. It is a tough par four. And then obviously all the other holes, it tends to get a little, well, in the middle period, it tends to get a little bit easier for us. Well, I say easier. There's still tough driving holes, there's still tight holes. Still some very tight holes, but distance-wise, it's a little bit easier. So yeah, this is what I've got left. I'll put the side view on for you. That's what I've got left. In fact, here... Get up on the bank, get up on the bank, up you get, there you go, that's it, that's easier for you to see. Hopefully you're seeing the flag, hopefully you're seeing the ball, hopefully you're hearing me. And hopefully, hopefully, we're putting for par. Okay. Okay, well it's uphill, I know that. I think it's left. Yeah, quite a lot of left to right. I think. Oh, I haven't given enough. I don't think it would have been in the hole. Probably would have missed, but it's a five. Two put five, it's okay. And there's somebody else following on from me now. 
Well, he's just going to have to wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. There's nothing I can do to help you there. This two ball ahead of me is taking the time. I've got to take my time, and I'm really sorry about this, but this has to be done. I'm not letting you play through because if I let you two play through, you're just going to get stuck behind this two ball because they're not going to let you play through. All right. One of the little uh, ducklings again. He's not actually a little duckling anymore. <laughs> uh, I think it was at Easter they were born, I think April time. And now he's a little bit bigger now. He's not a duckling anymore, he's getting a bit bigger. Uh, so obviously the mother and the other one will be about somewhere here. But no, no, I remember them with the little chicks. Little chicks about four months ago in the pond. Incredible to think how much they've grown in a few months. Oh, for God's sake, they're just on the green. In fact, they're walking off the green, that's fine. They're coming off the green now. That's all right. That's okay, they're walking off the green. That's fine. All forgot. Again, use everything at your disposal, your rangefinder. Right. I hate people who leave teeth like that. Just put them out. 171. That reckons 165. Still going to go seven because I don't want to be short. I will still go seven. That hits at 170. Which way is the wind going? I think normally it's in your pet here. Normally the wind, if it picks up, yeah, slightly behind and to the right. So seven it's going to be. So yeah, I'm on 51 through 11. Isn't too bad. Isn't too bad at all. Yeah, those other guys might get frustrated with me, but there's no doubt I'm doing a, a two ball taking half an hour per enemy. Here we go. Oh, it's a little bit right. It's where the book is. It's going to be a pitch onto the green, unfortunately, golf friends. It's not directly on the green. It's going to be a pitch. I, I hope I'm over that bunker. I hope I'm over that right bunker at the front. It might be the situation I normally find myself in where I've got to pitch it onto the green, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not a lost ball or anything. It's just where the line was where those right bunkers are in the middle of those right bunkers. Faded round a tiny bit, but it's either going to be in the bunkers or I've got to pitch, a pitch onto the green. So we'll see, we will see. So yeah. I mean that wrong with the shot, I hit it well. I hit uh, it was a good connection and everything, it's just I didn't it just went a little bit right. Just went a little bit right. So what did I say I was? 51. 51's not too bad. 51's not too bad in the position I'm in now. I would take a two put five, uh, two put four from here. Um, no danger, no danger would I take it. So yeah, just taking my time. There's no rush because these fellas aren't rushing for you. So why, why should I rush for that fella? I mean, that that fella now, he's probably on the green now, and he's, you'll probably see me just on the green, and he'll be thinking, what the hell's going on? But of course, I'm not the problem. It's this two ball. I'm, I'm not the problem, and hopefully you'll identify that. I hate slowing people up. So it's not in the first bunker. Oh, here it is. Just like I thought, it's cleared all the bunkers, and it's a little pitch onto the green where I'm going to have to stop it on a penny. It's going to be a difficult shot. It's going to be a 60 degree chip. But I'm all right. I'm all right with these shots. As long as I can get it to stop dead, I'll be all right. As long as I don't blade it, I'll be okay. That's the situation. Okay. 
60 degree and I think I can you know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fob it I'm gonna have to stop it because that green's straight downhill because if, if, I, if, I, if I do for the bump and run it's gonna come off that bank and you know what's gonna happen it's gonna come off the bank it's just gonna accelerate and it's gonna roll down I'm gonna have to chip it up I'm gonna have to pitch it up we're gonna do a little flop a little film Epson's magician shot That's good, that's good. Now stop, now stop. Oh, that's brilliant. I mean, it's moved a little bit to the left, but I mean, give yourself a clap, John. You couldn't have done much better than that. You really, really couldn't have done much better than that. You really couldn't. You really, really couldn't do much better than that. Well done. Now it's a case of putting the putt in, walking away with a paw. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, well done, well done. Now these fellas are gonna have a right go at me, but I'll explain to them it's a two ball. Once I get down on the, after I've done me, me drive, I'll explain to them, look, it's not me, it's this, uh, it's this two ball. This two ball's gonna take all night. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But uh, that's a par. That makes me 54 through 12. 54 through 12. And I'm still, what am I now? Plus, plus five? I'm still plus five. I'm still plus five and I'm still in there. I'm still hanging. I'm still hanging. Still hanging on plus five. Okay. Like I say, this is this is the one. This is another make or break hole. I kind of go until those guys are played their approach shots. In fact, I'm going to stop this recording until. Okay, they're fair enough down now. Get the driver out. Hopefully, Phil Mickelson bomb, give them a little bit of a shock. That might hurry them up. Should be okay, should be findable. It should be findable. I mean, it's gone a lot further right than I thought, but it's where that bunker is, the line where the bunker is, and hopefully I'll be all right. Hopefully I'll be okay. All right, I'm okay, I'm in the spinach, but I'm all right. I'm in the spinach, I'm on this. Run 43. I'm sorry, lads, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, 143, 99. Another ball in there. Right, here we go. And that's okay, that's good. I've heard it bounce, I don't know where it's at, but I've heard it bounce. It's 
and we're on the move again. I've been lucky, I've been lucky there. I have been lucky there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been very lucky there. Um, because I tell you what, that's been cut thick. And if I ended up in a big, bloody one of those patches, I could have been in big bother there. I could have been in real big bother. I mean, look at how thick that is. I mean, they've hit the tee shots now. I mean, I'm sorry, lads. There's no I can do about it. I mean, I've, I've got a t I've got this two ball who's behind this, and I'm going to be panicking all night about this. This is, this is not on. You know, it ain't it ain't my problem. It ain't my problem. It's it's it's, it's the blokes ahead of me. That's the problem. It is. And now I'm feeling rushed. I'm feeling rushed in my golf game, and I shouldn't be. Anyway, we'll see where my ball's at. I hit that pretty well, but I've got a horrible feeling that I've overhit it. I've overhit it, I think, because I'm not seeing it on the green. I hope it's not one of these. I hope it's not one of these where it's bloody lost again. Oh no, here it is in the bunker. Here it is in the bunker. Mighty. Oh, this is just mank playing golf like this when you're rushed. Okay, 60 degree out. As long as I get out this bunk, I'm not bothered. Oh, well, I've got out. Just, just I was lucky. I didn't give it enough. Pretty thick sand. I've been lucky, and I'm out of it. I've been lucky. I've been a lucky boy. But it's okay. I'm putting, putting for par. That's all right. That's not bad. Oh. It's okay. Right. Here we go then. Here we go. Left to right again, slightly uphill. Ooh, excuse me. That's fine. That's fine for a five. Yeah. Can't mourn at a five. Can't mourn at a five. We continue on. You know, those lads are, are walking at some sheer bloody pace and all. The, they're like trying to push me and it, it, it's, it's no good. It's no good. I should really explain to them. Like there's a bloody two ball ahead of me and they're slowing me up, it's not me. But how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you say to someone, hold on, <laughs> you're effectively blaming somebody else. So that was a five, so I was on 50, how oh, was it on? 50, did I say 56 I was on? So that's a five, that's a 61 through 13. Is that right? Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. I've shot, I went five, five, 41. That's 51, 51, okay? Then you shot a three, which is a 54, and I've done a five there to 59 through 13. 59 through 13. That's not bad. 59 through 13. Uh, right. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll stop it here. 